I'm back. Welcome back, Wookie Scientists. Today we're going to learn about something called thermal expansion. And that is the tendency for matter to change its volume or shape based on a change in temperature. So I've got two metal instruments here, which I'm going to show you. They're metal because they conduct heat or transfer heat across them really well. So I've got a metal hoop just here, um, also like a Quidditch hoop, and a metal ball, and it fits straight through. There's no either, sorry, there's nothing hard about it. So that fits through there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the size of this brass ball here um, by heating it up. So let's turn the button on, hold that over. So we're slowly heating up, well I say slowly, we're quite quickly heating up this brass ball. And what's happening at the atomic level um, is shown in my whiteboard. So solid, uh, sorry, solid matter, which is shown in the whiteboard here, is arranged in a very regular pattern. So the red circles just there show all the particles um, shown in my solid, and the dots in between them, so those purpley blue dots, let's go show a little bit closer, are the spaces between those particles. And you hopefully see that they're very small. Now, what's happening is, from an energy perspective, thermal energy from my Bunsen burner is being transferred to my brass ball, but it's being transferred in the form of kinetic energy. Now, kinetic energy is the form of movement. Now, as those particles start to move more and more, what do you think is going to happen to the spaces between them? They're going to get bigger, because the particles are moved slightly further away from each other. And as they do so, if you add up all of those increases in size of those gaps between particles, as they try and move away from each other, without changing state, so from a solid to a liquid, um, the size of this brass ball is going to increase. And I can prove that by showing it that I cannot pull it back through this hoop. So let's give it a quick go. Oh, it's working. A little bit more. So I'm just going to spin it to even, even out the heat. So to show that this has worked, I won't be able to pull the metal ball. It won't fit back through. And I think that is enough. So let's have a go. So you can see here, I'm pulling the ball back through and it will not fit. You can see, no matter what I do, what angle I have it at, it's not going to fit through that hole. However, all is not lost. I don't need my Bunsen anymore. What I need now is a lovely beaker of water. This is cold water. Cover your ears, it's going to be loud. Wait for it. Oh, so what I've done, I've quenched um, this vast ball here. So I've rapidly decreased its temperature. What that has done, it has slowed down the speed at which those particles are moving. So they suddenly become closer together. And you know what? I can prove that they've come, uh, they've moved closer towards each other because now I can easily pull it back through the hole. Ta-da, isn't that amazing? Now, I know what you're thinking. That's lovely, nearly fell off. But how can I use that in the real world? Now there's a variety of uses here. Um, all materials will expand slightly and they have something called a tolerance. So an amount that they will expand by um, when they're heated or cooled or cooled down. So perhaps flooring that you have on the floor, if that's wooden flooring, you have to leave little gaps at the end. Otherwise the, in the summer it expands, the wood butts against the wall and your floor starts to bow up and you have bubbly floor. Equally, and I'll have a picture here, um, you'll see when you go drive past the bridge that they almost look like they're made of Lego. There's gaps, there's visible gaps between the concrete slabs. And that's for the concrete to expand. Because otherwise, it would crack and break in the summer. It's amazing, isn't it? Physics at work. Folks, this has just been a taster of the experience we're going to start so far. I now have a lab, which I didn't have last time. So I look forward to seeing you again. In the meantime, may the science be with you. See you soon.